Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hi, this is Rachel Barnett from Gentle Frog. In today's video, I want to show you how to access your customer list. To access the customer list, you'll go on the left hand side in the gray bar. You'll go to sales. In the pop up menu, you'll come down to customers. When you do this, you'll now have access to your customer list. If you had not gone to sales and then down to customers, if you had just gone to sales, it might have put you at the overview screen. That's no problem because you can just come over here to the right and click on customers. Now that you're at your customer list, there are some things that you can do, such as you can add a new customer by going to new customer in the upper right hand corner. The only mandatory field in the new customer is the customer display name. The customer display name is the name that you see on the left hand side when you look at your list of customers. You don't need to enter any of the rest of these fields, but you may choose to. Let's go ahead and enter happy customer, and then we'll select save in the lower right hand corner. When I do that, it automatically takes me to the profile of my new customer. If I wanted to edit my customer in any way, I can click edit in the upper right hand corner. I now have my list of customers. If this was a sub customer, for example, if this was a job that I'm doing for a different customer, I can go ahead and say is sub customer and then say that it's a sub customer of um, Darnell. And then I can say if I want to build this to the parent customer or not, I can click save. And so now I can see that happy customer is a sub customer of Darnell. An example where you might do that uh, is if you have a like a property management company and each of the locations that you do work for could be a sub customer. While I'm at this list, if I want to go back to the earlier view that I had, what I can do is I can click on customers in the upper left. It'll take me back to the view with the pretty ribbon across the top. If I wanted to do anything such as export my list of customers, I could do that by coming over here to the right, clicking on the paper with the arrow flying out of it, and say export to Excel. You can see on the bottom it's exported to Excel. All right, I hope this brief tutorial to show you where your customer list is located has been helpful. If there's anything that my team or I can do for you, we're more than happy to help. You can reach us at gentlefrog.com. Thank you so much.